Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Whenever you watch this video, my name is Grace and today we are off the Silverstone for the British Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> we can't believe it! Dad's in the front, Dad. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crashed the car. We are on our way to Silverstone for the British Grand Prix, so the yeah. Formula One. We're massive fans, oh, surprise, so if anyone friends. doesn't know. The car is full to the brim. We've got my family friend now on our way. But we absolutely just can't wait. It's gonna be the best weekend ever. Easy to obsessed with Daniel Ricciardo. He's her absolute favorite. Got the hoodie. My Daniel Got the merch. We got McLaren t-shirts. It's we're... birthday on Friday. No, we're just so excited just to be there, experience it. Uh, is, oh, is he going to the sport? When do you kind of... Drive to Survive got into, I think, Easter last year. I haven't watched it for a while, but as a family now, we're so obsessed, so... Dad's a Lewis Hamilton star. Dad's a huge Lewis Hamilton fan. I am a massive McLaren fan. I also really love George Russell. George Russell and Charles Leclerc? Oh, they're beautiful. So we've got all our outfits planned, we've got colour coordination going on, we've got matching McLaren t-shirts. It's Anna Connor's birthday on Friday, so she's absolutely buzzing. I'm gonna bring party hats. <laughs> You're gonna bring party hats. But I didn't buy any party hats. And I know. I want to try and see him. <laughs> we we'll see. You never know. We are about a two and a half hour drive away, camping, so hence why I was just in the car, but yeah. So just join us for the most craziest weekend ever. We just can't wait, you can tell, we just can't stop smiling. So excited. If you guys enjoy, please smash the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Always really appreciate it. And let's go to Silverstone. We're on our way in. Let me say hi. hi. <laughs> We're all parked up. There's so many people in our campsite. Look at this. We are like, down there in the corner. We're sitting at Danford campsite, it's got our wristbands on. We're heading in, bit of an explore. The Sky Sports F1 Live was about an hour ago, so we just missed that, but that's fine. I'm gonna bit of an explore, get some food. Yeah, exciting oh, yeah. time. Stop raining now. It's quite exciting, what? but yeah, so. You're in charge now, I'm following you. <laughs> we made it in. Oh, I on. It's between right, Jack, fit the check, let's have a little look. Woo! Look at that poncho! Let's go! <laughs> it's a lot of women in the sport and I meet so many more people now, uh, young girls that okay. are inspired by the team. No, I just realised, yeah, you see this picture, let's just stand across there, so you can see them going down there as well. Yeah. Oh, this is incredible! We're at the Vale, this is down the Vale. Straight down there. It's weird at the end of the long street, see the TV screen there? It is on it, on Esmond Arcon's just doing his interview. Aww, we're in the Oh. <laughs> oh, it's has got a problem, man. Daniel Ricardo, she, will, she is the love of your life. <laughs> yeah, but this is our home. This is where we live for the weekend. And keep warm on the campsites tonight. I'm buzzed already. This is so weird, this is madness. This is I can actually smell it. You know what I mean? I can smell the rubber. I want to. Smell victory. Yeah. It's like block nose. Join the club, Jack. Join the club. <laughs> we're in the. Where are we? Fanta. The fan festival is owned. So the stage of there. Examples are in about 20 minutes. But it's buzzing. It's absolute vibes going on right now. <laughs> Dad, Dad's on the Thatcher's face. <laughs> Uh, Jackson is not fit for check. Oh, my god, my god, son. Cuties. There's so many food places. So keep exploring, keep seeing what's up, and just. And the doors are closed. Morning. So, good morning, beautiful people. How are we today? So, this is what we've got set up right now. Just a little to check everybody with me moment but i think it's 10 to 8 so shower block brush my teeth do all that jazz cook a bit of makeup now and then i think we're aiming to heading for about quarter past eight which and then the women's series quarter practice sessions start at 8 40 so i think we should get there for the stopping of that we also got the Formula 2 and Formula 3 practice sessions this morning and then obviously the Formula 1 practice sessions, two of them today. So, fun, fun time. Probably wholesome vibes last night, cooking. We had a little pasta sesh at 10 o'clock. Oh, hello. hello. I'm trying to work out where you were talking. <laughs> 
sleep. I slept alright, how did you sleep? Really well, I sleep amazing in tents. The campsites are actually proper cute, so good vibes all around from us. But I will see you when we're ready in three, two, one. Fit check. Woo, fit check. <laughs> We're already got my Monaco hat on, Nisi's my McLaren, Jack little fit check. Jeez, Dad's a bit stressed With this bag full of alcohol. Never stressed me. <laughs> you ready oh. to go? Oh, I'll show a little, show a little setup now in the light. Yeah. Got our little tents. And then my godfather's coming with his big caravan. Hopefully we're here later. <coughs> got my voice. Just in the last minute. So we're all packed, got our packed lunches. Got leggings, I get a bit cold later, which is probably definitely gonna happen, but it's just vibes. Immaculate. There's fields and fields and fields of this, and everyone just kitted out in Formula One stuff. So exciting! Oh, times. Can I just say I had an outfit change because today I planned to wear a black dress with the orange cap, but it's like so I think today's gonna be the coldest day. So got my jeans inside. I'm just vibing with my dress, note for the best. Oh, that was a good rhyme. Poet and didn't even know it. So we made our way to Stowe, A, which is where we're going to be sitting on Sunday for the actual race. Look at our view. All down the stream, get the nice stoke of big screen as well. So we are absolutely sorted. We just went to a co op. Easy to show because they have found a couple meal deals. But F3 practice is in about 10 minutes' time, I think. And yeah. I'm gonna hold. Seeing everyone like in the F1 merch is awesome. There's so many McLaren fans, which we Everywhere. stan. Everywhere. It's Daniel McConnell's birthday today, so. Oh, happy birthday, Danny happy Rick. Happy birthday, Danny Rick. <laughs> Just for you. Just for you. Just blow my kiss. <laughs> but the amount of food places here is ridiculous. There's so many food places. The atmosphere is incredible. Um, I might try and throw a few clips in of the campsite. We've got flags and flags and so many caravans, but. Good vibes all around. Let's. Oops, sorry, I'm still filming you. I had to film these guys. Did you want to Hello. say anything for the vlog? Well, I'm just looking for um, my seat for the... Oh, one not you hang on? <laughs> Dad's been going with airport dad vibes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just looking for our seats for Sunday. J, one, two, three. Yeah, we're happy, we're excited. We're ready to go. Woo! <laughs> Two, two feature rate wins. On Hamilton Street, F2 practice is about to start, but look how mad this is. It's blown our minds. We are. No. Oh my god, it's Mercedes Garage. We're going to go down here. Ferrari. And McLaren's all the way down there. We're literally opposite the garage. Like, like that is the start line. Guys, mad bro, you zoomed in. That was mad bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite loud, you might not be able to hear me because the screens are going off, but FP1 is done, I'm just going to wait. A little bit of hydration, don't we? FP3, no it's not, F3 qualifying, oh, here they come. Hours. However, we are now in the F1 fan zone. Been a very busy afternoon. FP1 was awesome. It rained a bit, but we still we managed to sit opposite the Mercedes garage. So we saw Lewis and George, which was amazing. And now, yeah, in the fan zone, having a bit of an explore, just seeing kind of what's about. And nearly the end of the day now. How has everyone's day been? Let's go. Summing up so far. 
just amazing. Amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Buzzing. We sat next, we sat opposite the McLaren garage and Ferrari for FP2. FP2. So Izzy was in a little element. Yeah. Jack is back. Yeah. Hello. Good day so far. It's been fabulous. Fabulous, yeah. exactly. Fabulous. We're going to keep exploring cigars on tonight at nine. We're going to try and see some of his performance. But it's been an amazing day. There are so many people here. Like when I say so many people, I can't even describe how busy it's been. It's fantastic to see everyone out enjoying themselves and enjoying the weekend. <laughs> Free food from Elton John. The gala's coming on soon. We've been T minus 10. Look at our photos from today. What's your highlight of the day been? Well, I got three. So my three highlights are George waving at me. Grussell, love, love me from Grussell. Um, Lewis with us. Yeah, that was pretty And cool. meeting Lizzie McIntosh. Yeah, is he introducing to this new content creator? She she seems so lovely. Get a little follow up on Instagram, I think. So, yeah, very good day. Anyway, what were your three highlights of the day? My, my, oh sorry, so my highlights of the day has got to be FP1 because we sat there and then both Mercedes drivers came out and each of us we saw the cars, that was incredible. We couldn't stop smiling. I really enjoyed the end of our night, we went to... Oh, right. oh um... Farmcove. Farmcove. We went to Farmcove to watch the W Series Polly and the Porsche cars I think at a practice yeah. session. And the sun was setting, vibes were immense. We were on a hill and it was kind of warm. You probably can't hear us to be honest because the music is quite loud. And third, I think just being like in the environment, it's been so amazing. I'll throw a few clips in from Sigala, but if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah! Holiday! Holiday, baby, let's go! <laughs> in Club Corner already, it is past nine. Polly's not till three, which is fine, but we got up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m., washed our hair, hence the plat. Be beautiful sleep last night. But, we so we've got designated seats for tomorrow, so because of that, we can go to any grandstand today. So we chose Club Corner, the view is amazing. We get the last corner into the entire home straight. We're sitting right by the podium as well, so if they do interviews that area, we got it. And we've got the pit lane and the entry to the pit. Look, I'll show you now, look at this view. Yeah, big fun day planned. Last night was immense. I, it was a long day, like if anyone's ever coming, if people are coming next year or if people are coming this year, you know it's a very long day. So I was flagging a bit, but all was well. Found some energy for Cigala, it was awesome. Dad, did you enjoy Cigala last night? Yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah, pumping away, dancing away. Calves are aching from uh, jumping up and down all night. Then we did about 20,000 steps yesterday, which is a lot. We, we, we yeah, didn't 26, go back, didn't go back to base camp, so we got here at, I think we got here about 10 past nine yesterday, and we left at 10 past 10. So what's that, 11 hours? It's absolute vibes though. We always wanted to go home before cigar like that. I was like, nah, we're gonna stay for cigar. I swear like, now, I needed like a half cigar. an hour like debrief moment. And a few Instagram photos. Yeah, we had, a, we had like a lie down. We would chill. Get to share some pics. And then ready to go today. So FP1 is at 12. We've got lunch. I bought lunch with me. Dad and Izzy got caught meal deals. So what? If you ever come, five pound fifty sandwich your, or your main, your drink. Food is so expensive. Snack. I know it's like three pound fifty back at home, but five pound fifty—that's so good. Considering you pay like a fiver for a tub of chips. Do you know what I mean? Keep it dated later. I think F3 have another practice session this morning like at five to ten. Yeah, there's so much going on, but yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Please, please. 
sorry to let you all down. But I did a few layers, got a little blanket going. Look at the binoculars. They, like we can see everything. I can. Dad if, bought. Dad I, boys from when he was I, really if young. If we had him yesterday, I could see Lewis Hamilton's nose hairs. No joke. They're that good. Yeah. But good vibes all around. Sing a little sing song. We saw some of the cleaners racing on the track. I'm just chilling now. Not a seat. Stands all the bag is full. I can't really zoom in that much on here, but yeah. Right, predictions go. Uh, too predictable, really. The start of the oh, it depends. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain, so it's going to turn upside down. This yeah. over a mixed grid. That's what I'm after. The rain. Mercedes top three. I think that'll be a American top three. I agree. Yeah, no, I do. I think it'll be. Bastille, they were, well, I keep saying it all weekend, immense, like it's insane. Insane. It's insane. Everyone's gone now, and rubbish is everywhere, but honestly, incredible. After Quali, first of all, Quali was amazing. I don't even see, talk to you guys. Quali was incredible. Oh, yeah. No, wet Quali, crowd was amazing. When all the British drivers came past, everyone was on their feet, clapping, cheering. I filmed a few clips, I should have put them in already, you guys would have seen, but honestly, being here in person, and hearing it is, was incredible. Do you know what the best part is? Is we were all sat in the grandstand and like everyone cheers for the same thing. Or like yeah. everyone was so happy that Carlos got pole. Or everyone was like, Yeah, Carlos got his first pole, like, just so cute. It was just so much banter here in the, like, the crowd. It got quite cold early, so we headed back to camp. Bit of a debrief. I quickly changed into my jumper and headed back in, watching the drivers for him. We saw Lewis, which was amazing on stage. And yeah, watch Bassi and the rest of the music artists. We're going to head back now. Early start tomorrow because tomorrow is a race day, race baby. Day. Got our seats, so that pressure out the way. I think we're going to head to the fan zone, maybe do a bit exploring. Maybe film a few hours of the day, um, little video TikTok. Something like that. Cross, the weather should be warm and sunny. Should hold yeah. up. I did have a Ferrari themed outfit for today. Cute little red skirt and white top. However, obviously, weather permitting, it was quite cold. So. I thought to do, do I go with my Ferrari skirt or do I put my heart out McLaren with matching McLaren t-shirts? We will see. I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Jeez, who is that Danny Rick fan? <laughs> it's race day! We're in, we're changed, we're all McLaren down. Formula 3 race just finished. Vibes are immense as I would at the weekend. We're still coming in now. All general emissions are full. We've just been to Stowe to see where we were sitting, put our stuff down. Now we're chilling, we're waiting, we're gonna go see our friends again. And yeah, good vibes all round. Formula 2 races in about an hour, so we're gonna try and see our friends and head back for that. Fit checkers. Jeez, look at that. Race fit check. Love it. Spin. We have come to Hamilton Street to see our friends. We might actually stay for start the F2 race because look at this view. Look how good this is. All the way into Albi into the first corner. So I think we will definitely stay here for the start of the race. <laughs> is immense <laughs> honestly i think we'll do a debrief tomorrow when we're home but the race is incredible i think 
Being here, seeing it live and the atmosphere was amazing, but the race itself, so many good overtakes, the safety car restart was amazing. Obviously, a really scary crash for Joe Banyu at the beginning of the race. Thankfully, he's okay, Albon's okay, everyone's gonna be okay who crashed, thankfully. We've had it in ahead of week two again. <laughs> Izzy had the Greek gravel on the first night, and we're just chilling. I think the drive's gonna come out soon. But to be honest, we're all just a bit exhausted. It's been the most incredible experience ever. But I think I will wrap up the vlog for Live at Silverstone here and I'll see you when we're back at home. And we are back home. Had the best sleep ever last night. Yeah. I still can't speak. Izzy's still not feeling 100%. I think life is just taken out of her, but we're actually about to start watching the race back again. We're all good at ready. <laughs> what a weekend. The race obviously incredible. The crash is very scary, but I feel very blessed to have been there, to see the race, seen the action, to be in the atmosphere of the crowd. It was incredible. Whenever Hamilton overtook anyone or did a good move, the crowd went crazy. I couldn't even speak yesterday. But as soon as like Hamilton overtook somebody, or when both Ferraris overtook Max, literally jumped out of the chair, <laughs> the poncho went left, the blanket went right, screamed, even though I couldn't scream. We were like jumping up and down, and it was, like, it was mad. It was really, really good. No, incredible. So I can't remember when I vlogged last, I think I might have been sitting down about to eat my dinner or just after eating my burrito. I can't really remember, but we chilled. Lewis came on stage with Roscoe, it was really cute. Yeah. Staff things, he went to the front, I was just chilling, I was very tired. The Mabel came on straight away, I think. The timings of the even evening entertainment was thrown off a bit because the race was so delayed. But we just headed back, packed up. We were gonna potentially stay last night, but we decided to come back instead, which was things best decision. We got here, we unpacked things. Huge lion this morning. It's a nice chill day, just reminiscing on the weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Obviously very different to my normal content. You guys also said before, you might not even know I like Def One, but I wanted to vlog it for myself, for the memories, for us to have to look back on. And if anybody out there who also loves Formula One, well now you know that I do, and if any of you guys go in the future, you know, see what to expect and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Please give a big thumbs up and comment down below. If you guys are into Formula One, who your favorite driver is, I'd be really interested actually to see if any of my Subscribers do obviously follow Formula One. But yeah, you guys enjoyed and I'll see you for a new video very, very soon. Bye. Bye.